Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to your 24th Vue.js tutorial and in this video we're going to talk about events. So, in the last tutorial we saw that if we passed a reference type as a prop down to a child component, then if we edited that prop in the child component it would indirectly edit the original data source because we're just passing down a reference. Therefore, whichever other component also took that data as a prop is also going to get updated. We saw that. However, the opposite was true for primitive types. If we pass down a primitive type such as a string like this title, if we edit that title in here, it's not going to change this thing right here. Therefore, it's not going to update any other component either. Okay, It's only going to update the title in this component. So what if we want to kind of duplicate that behavior of these reference types so that if we update it in one component, then it updates it in another component? Well, we can kind of get around it by using events. So what we can do is in this component, say have a button to change the title. And then when we change that title, when we click the button, we can emit an event from this component. And this event goes upwards. It fires up to the parent component, okay? And this component can be set up to listen out for when this event is emitted so that when it is emitted, it can react to it. And the reaction could be that it's gonna change the data, the title variable stored on this component. We're changing the state of this component. And when a component changes its state or its data, it kind of re-renders the template to update it. So when it does that, it's passing down the new title data as props to these components again. Therefore, it's going to update in every component it passes that title down to. So we're kind of duplicating that behavior of reference types on primitive types using events. And that's not all events can be used for, but that's one good example. And that's the example I'm going to show you now. Okay, so in the header component currently, we have this title, which is output. And this title is being received as a prop from this root component right here. We define it and it's passed through to the header and also the footer as a prop. Now, if you click on this H1 currently, it's set up to this function, change title. And down here in this function, we're changing the title to view wizards. But when we click on this, it only updates currently in this component it doesn't update this title right here. But we want it to update that. Instead, we want to, down here, instead of changing it locally, emit an event. And that event is gonna fire upwards, be listened to by this component, then when it reacts to that event, to change this title right here on this root component, therefore re-rendering this stuff right here and passing down the updated title property as a prop to both of these different components, therefore updating in the header and the footer. Make sense? That's what we're going to do. So this is still fine. We still want to fire this function when we click on here because we still want to change the title. But instead of just changing it locally, we're going to emit an event. How on earth do we do that? Well, we say this to refer to this component first of all. Then we can fire off an event by saying dollar sign emit. This will emit an event, okay? Now we wanna say, what do we want to call this event? Well, I just wanna call this event change title, okay? And we're gonna to listen to this event in the root component in a minute. We also can pass through some data which we can take when we listen to the event. So in this case, it's going to be what do we want to change the title to? So this data we want to pass with the event is going to be the second parameter. So it's just going to be a string and we're going to change it to view wizards. Okay, so we're changing from view ninjas to view wizards. So right now when we click on this, this h1, it's firing this function. In this function, we're saying this referring to this component dot emit. So we're emitting events and we're firing it upwards. The event is called change title and the data we're sending with the event is this string view wizards. This is what we want to change the title to. So we can now listen for this event in the root component. I'm going to copy that there and I'm going to go to the root component. And how can we listen to this event? Well, it's just like listening for a click event. We can do exactly the same thing, and that is use V on. So this event is going to be firing from this. So we can therefore say V hyphen on on this component and then the event name. Now it's called change title, right? Because that's what we defined the event to be called right there. I'm just going to save this. 
and when this happens, when that event is emitted, this thing listens for it and it can fire a function of its own. So we're going to fire a function called update title, which is going to be defined down here. Okay. Now we can also take through this thing as a parameter, right? Because we pass some data to it and we can retrieve that by passing through here dollar sign event and that is the event data. So down here, let us define that method. So underneath the data, we'll say methods. This is an object and we want update title because this is the method right here, which is going to fire when this event emits. OK, so in this method, it is going to be a function and we want to update the title. So we'll say this dot title and set it equal to this thing right here, view wizards, which we sent along and we received in this event parameter right here. So all we need to do to access this is come down here and pass in a parameter right here. It doesn't have to be called event. It can be called whatever you want. I'll call it updated title, right? And this thing right here is going to pass through into this. Yeah. And there we can say updated title because this thing now is equal to whatever we pass through here. So we're updating this dot title, which is currently this to this thing right here, which we've passed through. So if I save that now, check this out in a browser. If I click on this, then it's going to change them both at the top and the bottom to view wizard. I'll just uh, zoom in so you can see it change in both. So I'll refresh currently view ninjas in both click on this and now it's view wizards. And that's because we've emitted that event, fired it up to this root component. We've listened for that event and we've reacted to it. We've changed the title property right here to whatever we pass through on this event. And because this has changed, because this state or data has changed in this component, we're rerunning or re-rendering this stuff right here, which is passing the updated title to both of these components right here, therefore updating both of them. Okay, so that is events in a nutshell. We're going to be using them much, much more as we go along. So don't worry if you don't 100% understand them just at the minute.